we're doing day five, and you can do it along with us at home. So what's step one? Share highs and lows. Okay. Our picnic was my high, and that our dog is being crazy. Is that your low? Yes. Okay. My high is that I got to talk to all of my kids this morning on Teams. I miss their faces, so it was really exciting to get to talk to them. And my low is that learning this technology is still really hard for a lot of us. Mm -hmm. What's step two? Mm, read. Okay, who's going to read, you or me? You. Okay, so I'm going to read and you're going to listen? Yes. Ready to talk about it afterwards? Yes. Okay, so we're reading John chapter 11, verses 17 through 44, and this is the story of Lazarus. The death of Lazarus. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? Okay. Mm -hmm. On his arrival, Jesus found that Lazarus had already been in the tomb for four days. Bethany was less than two miles from Jerusalem, and many Jews had come to Martha and Mary to comfort them in the loss. When Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went out to meet him, but Mary stayed at home. Lord, Martha said to Jesus, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But I know that even now, God will give you whatever you ask. Jesus said to her, your brother will rise again. Martha answered, I know he will rise again in the resurrection at the last day. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me will live even though he dies. And whoever lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? Yes. Yes, Lord, she told him. I believe that you are the Christ, the Son of God, who has come into the world. Oh, that's a big thing to say. And after she had said this, she went back and called her sister Mary aside. The teacher is here, she said, and is asking for you. When Mary heard this, she got up quickly and went to him. Now Jesus had not yet entered the village, but was still at the place where Martha had met him. When the Jews who had been with Mary in the house, comforting her, noticed how quickly she got up, and went out, they followed her, supposing she was going to the tomb to moon, mourn there. When Mary reached the place where Jesus was and saw him, she fell at his feet and said, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. Look, Martha and Mary said the same thing. Do you think their hearts were in the same place? Yes. You do? Both? How do you think they were feeling? Happy. Why? Because you wouldn't be happy if Someone died. That's true. When Jesus saw her weeping and the Jews who had come along with her also weeping, he was deeply moved in spirit and troubled. Where have you laid him? He asked. Come and see, Lord, they replied. That sounds nice. And then Jesus. Jesus wept. Jesus wept. He was so sad for them. His heart hurt for them. Then the Jews said, see how he loved him? But some of them said, Could not he who opened the eyes of the blind man have kept this man from dying? Jesus, once more deeply moved, came to the tomb. It was a cave with a stone laid across the entrance. Take away the stone, he said. But Lord, said Martha, the sister of the dead man, by this time there is a bad odor, for he has been there for four days. Then Jesus said, Did I not tell you that if you believed you could see the glory of God? So they took away the stone. Then Jesus looked up and said, Father, I thank you that you have heard me. I knew you always hear me, but I said this for the benefit of the people standing here, that they may believe that you sent me. When he had said this, Jesus called in a loud voice, Lazarus, come out. The dead man came out, his hands and feet wrapped with strips of linen and a cloth around his face. Jesus said to them, take off the grave clothes and let him go. Wow, what did Jesus do? Healed him. He raised him from the dead. Who's the only person that could do that? God. Only God could do that. That's a pretty amazing story. I watched, and he did that to Grandma Brand. Yeah. When you lose someone, it's kind of hard, right? Yeah. Yeah. But what did, and it's sad to have a funeral. But what did Jesus say? Mm, he who believes and Whoever in me. in me will live even through even though he 
dies. So what does that tell us? That, that if we love Jesus, do we ever really die? No. No, because we get to go to heaven. And someday we all get to have a big party there. Yes. That but, seems pretty cool. And everybody that believes in Jesus gets to see Jesus. That's pretty cool. But not everybody. Only if we love Jesus. Yes. And have him in our hearts. Yes. That's right. Okay, so what's the next step? Talk. Talk about how the Bible relates to your highs and lows. What was your high? Sickness. And what was my high? That you got to talk to your students. That's right. So do you think that's what heaven's going to be like if we live? Even though we die, it'll be like mm -hmm. a big picnic with all of the people that we miss and want to be around? Yes. So like our highs for today, <laughs> that'll be like the whole rest of eternity. Isn't that pretty cool? Yes. And our lows were about how sometimes times are hard, right? Like we're struggling. And what does Jesus do? What does the Bible tell us when we're having a rough time? What does he do for us? Mm -hmm. That he comforts us, right? Mm -hmm. He came to comfort them. Mm -hmm. God, that's pretty amazing. God is good like that. Okay, how about pray? Are you ready? You pray yes. for me and I'll pray for you? Yes. Okay, you first. Do you want me to do it first? Okay. Yes. Dear Jesus, thank you for the time that you give us in your word. Thank you for letting me meet with my students. And please help us as we learn about technology to be able to work together and to solve the problems we have. Mm -hmm. Dear Jesus, thank you for giving me a home and a good mom and family and that we get to someday live with you and probably have a big party. Amen. Amen. Probably. Probably. Okay, so what do we do last? The blessing? Yes. Okay, who wants to go first? Me. Okay. Jesus loves you, so do I. Jesus loves you, and so do I. <laughs>